he may come in with a lot of jokes. Man. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Trailer Park Show, and happy Monday. Wow, it's been a great day. It's beautiful outside today. No rain, but I believe we are going to have some rain coming up later this week. Um, also, the boiled burn ban is over, so you, you can drink your water again, and uh, you don't have to boil it. So that was a good thing. It's a high dollar water. So... You know, it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, we, we, we go through so many things, but we have to keep going. We just can't stop in the middle of it. We have to go, go, go and get through it to the, get to the other side. So I'm excited that the boil, boil, burn, boil, 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 water burn, water burn, burn, boil, burn, that is over. And, you know, we still, you Did know. Did they raise the price on water at the store? I don't know. They were gouging, but. But you're speaking about the boil water alert. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. And last week I had made mention about the bonds and how where the money goes on some oh. of these bonds. Mm -hmm. Did you all know that we had a bond thing that we were supposed to build a new water facility? <laughs> and you know what? Where did the bond money go? Because they never built that facility. Was that over 10 or 20 years? I have no idea, but anyways, anyways, it was it was recent, a few recent elections. So, uh, City Austin, where the hell is our new uh, water treatment plant? And the thing, basically, the be the basic thing was with the water ban thing and the water alert. It mostly affected South Austin. So it's like uh, the the plant that did the water for South Austin was the main was the main place. So uh, Dove Springs, again. We are like in the pit of the uh, city of Austin's views, eyes. Uh, so yeah, so anyways, uh, it was fun. I boiled like two pots of water a day. I still have three full jugs of water I'm going to store. Mm -hmm. But then, got to give condolences to Pokey today. Yeah. What's your condolences? condolences to Pokey. His cat died. Oh, his cat. Tenses, the driving cat, oh. has passed away. If you see his yeah, arms... See how bad, you know, all those band-aids he would wear on his arms where all those big cuts were? The cats would right. jump up on my lap. Like, here it is. Look at this one. And then also bite. And I'd be tight, petting it. He would just run and want to rub your nose and all this stuff. And then all of a sudden he'd just bite. Ah! Yeah. That's it, was, crazy. it was pretty <laughs> fast. <laughs> so, anyways. Your uh, cat was bipolar. <laughs> hey, there was no rats. <laughs> <laughs> no rats. Yeah. We lived where both are, and they love. You gotta get your another cat. The only roaches we ever saw was in his mouth. Tim. Only one that I remember. Oh, the, oh, the first night. <laughs> oh, the first night we had him though in the house. He caught something in our bedroom. He caught one a baby centipede, one of the colorful centipedes, the bad yeah. ones. So he he did his duty. He was a good cat. He had a gentle soul. Yeah, and uh, we'll see you at the Rainbow Bridge, Tinsus. We'll we'll meet up again one day. Uh, all that press. We're supposed to have more press here. Obviously, she's not serious. She might still be on her way, but we we don't know. Then we're not gonna. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter because there's a lot of current events and issues going on. You've got the Beto mural that was defaced. Uh, that didn't take long for that to happen. <laughs> who did uh, that? Oh, who knows? Mm -hmm. You have the uh, bombs. You have all the bombs going to the Democrat leaders. Hey, yeah, Democrats probably Ten shooting people. up Jewish synagogues. Yeah, uh, the synagogue in uh, Pennsylvania, in Pittsburgh. There, uh, you got uh, the ongoing stuff between the Democrat and Republican far. Far, well, you know, you got your far right, your far left. You know, so I, think there was another, I think there was a somewhat of a little copycat with that church shooting. I think an, another person, this happened today, was trying to get into a church, wasn't able to, and then he shot two people at Kroger's, the grocery store. Hmm. I just had my active shooter training, so that well, was good. Mm. <laughs> Can we go back to water just a minute? Charles okay. Ponzo will be out next week. He's a hardcore Democrat. He's going to talk with the, uh, talk with us about the, the discourse and politics. It'll be a, a good show. You going to check him for weapons? Oh, oh, is he going to be checked? Is he, check he, is, is, is he, he going to be checked for weapons? Will he be checked for weapons? Uh, probably not, but I won't either, so you know. It'll be a little <laughs> okay. scary. Okay. Uh, a couple of kids. Uh, 
for yeah, uh, it will be a little curious. I wish my case about water treatment plant number four that cost five hundred twenty-eight million dollars, and it. Dude, we're talking legs, you know that. God, don't get kicky on me now, please. <laughs> Trying to read out loud. <laughs> Less water. Uh, hey, let me leave my place. Five hundred twenty-eight million dollars. He keeps up on this kind of stuff, and he is from down south, obviously. So, uh, and is he's an activist type. Uh, uh, putting out less water than auctions other two water treatment plants. While it's painfully obvious that it made exponentially more sense to spend a fraction of that money to have upgraded auctions. You're not reading all of that, are you? In free water. Do you want to read it? <laughs> no, okay. but we get the gist. We get the gist of it. Oh, and then the other thing was uh, City of Austin officials, uh, they knew about this last Thursday beforehand. And they didn't release it. Thought, and you, you didn't find, you find out till you, you didn't find out till. I was correct. But no, I, I was correct. I was correct. The reason correct. they waited till Monday. And the reason they waited till was because at the Circuit of the Americas they had a race out there, and they didn't say anything. Even ATB, ATB, I got a thing on my Facebook where the the lady in charge of some stuff. The lady in San Antonio knew about it on Sunday afternoon. So why did why did uh why was it just released on Thursday? Well, y'all knew it, and I hope the hospitals aren't flooded with Giardella and Salmonella and, and botulism and any other Ella or ism that there was in that water, because you know what? All them people that are in the hospital for something that's waterborne, let's put the bill on the city of Austin, because you have money from the bonds. <laughs> they spent that money. That, that, was, that, was, that was for bicycle lanes. They had a separate bond for them. <laughs> yeah. That was, uh, I thought it was rather fulfilling not the information about. Well, you know, a little bit later on, all the topics that we talked, that we mentioned just a moment ago, we'll have some images of them um, as the show goes on today. Maybe. So, maybe. I believe Mob, she'll get us some images. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, I told him he was going to get his stuff. Uh huh. Pretty sharp. It's good to have some knowledgeable people, I guess you could say, because you know we're always working on volunteers down here. Sometimes we got them, sometimes we don't. It's, uh, but the show must go on. Oh, and there's always something to talk about. Mm -hmm. The water thing, what was the other one? Oh, uh, just mentioned it a minute ago. Well, we were talking about the uh, shooting at the, at the synagogue. Yeah. We talked about. The pipe, pipe bomb. bomb. So we went from pipe bomb That's to church uh, shooting. If it it's Trump's fault. It's all it's uh, you know, I'm not tired of all this blame shifting. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> why would President Trump do such a thing? He he already he knows how to get his own attention. All he has to do is tweet. So I'm like, so that's not even his mo. You know. Yeah, so he he, he, he gets his own attention another way, and that he and he gonna tweet and get that. So I don't see how you, anybody can blame shift that one on the president. Really, you know, you know uh, on the twelfth, I think it was uh, a, a GOP a Republican office in North Carolina got firebombed, but it's taking damage. Hmm. Nobody seemed to hear about that. Oh really? The news the bombs only matter when they don't go up. I see. Well, it only matters if it's if it's if it's sent to Democrat. Yeah. Nobody knows about it. It's hard to make the news even locally there. So, then, then, you know, what was this at? North Carolina, and I think mm. it was October 12th. Yeah. It was the a GOP office, Republican office there, and it just gutted the hell out, I mean, the heck out of it. Well, and nobody and talked about that. Nobody managed to do it without nobody getting hurt. <gasps> Which is a good thing. It's a good thing. They all got out. Nobody talked about the, uh, the male sexual assault claim against uh, Cory Booker either. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, he apparently was a, allegedly Spartacus. a Spartacus accosted someone in the, in the men's bathroom. He done what? Yeah. Is that confirmed? How long ago was that? I just read it today. Well, you know, there was something addressed to him. He, he sure did. Of course. He got cool. he got a bomb, and what so what the funniest thing is that I believe it was addressed to the uh, G, the the Democrat chairperson 
Uh, I don't even know if she's still the chairperson. Uh, Debbie Washington? No, yeah, she had yeah. it was a, a return address. That was a return address. Return address was from her. I thought, you know who really somebody? Anyway, but his was concerned. That's a bizarre story because these bombs, even now, they're coming out with them. And, but somebody obviously had no idea what they're doing. Well, they're talking more about bombs that didn't go off than about people who got killed in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. That's what's always amazed me. Well, it's like it didn't happen. Are you talking about recently or are you talking about back then? Back then. Even back then. Yeah. You still don't know nothing. You still don't know anything about him. There's not too we much said. We had a whole bunch of weaponry. There's not too much said about Scalise, Scalise and, and the, oh. other, the other conservatives being yeah. shot at, the, at softball practice. Mm -hmm. If we can go back to Las Vegas in just a minute, there is something that they're really not talking about. I mean, it's the person who owned the top floor of that hotel. Well, and now, a, a certain Saudi prince uh, 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 fled to Tehran. Another one got arrested. Nobody hears about it. You know who owns yeah. the top of that hotel, right? Who? Like the second most rich, richest man in the world, a Saudi uh, the prince. Uh, uh, prince to the crown prince. Prince Abdullah. You know how do you pick a crown prince? You got twenty-four guns. Hmm. And they're all rich. <laughs> hmm. And you got to pick the crown prince. And this one, well, you know, usually you got to assassinate each other to get there, but. Well, you know, I think I think they they uh, put a lot of it on uh, mental illness, which I, I wouldn't doubt that mental uh, illness didn't play a I part think, in that. I role. think this has got because they say that the, the crowd, this this Saudi guy had lots of security up there, and for the amount of weapons that we do know, this guy carried into that hotel to do this attack in two different spots. It's just something really fishy, just like this bomb guy. There's something that's not. Not kosher, you might say. It's, it's, Something ain't clean in the water. Yeah, I mean, uh, and then you, you shut up that stuff in Las Vegas past. We don't know anything about who this guy really was or what he's thinking or who he used to hang around with and what the hell was going on on those top floors. Or how he voted. Yeah, we don't how know he's how he voted, of course. And mostly we don't know about those top floors. And why did How many people got killed in Las Vegas? Was it 58, something like that? It's a lot. Quite a bit. And they were, they were a, concert, cons, a, concert. a concert, right? Mm -hmm. A country, a country western. country western, right? Yeah. So you know what kind of people you're going to find there? Probably conservatives. I'd say so. So dead conservatives are less important <clears throat> than, than bombs and bobs that don't go off. And particularly, we didn't hear about these Saudis anymore. Which part are you bringing the hotel? The ones on the top floor? The ones that got arrested in, in Riyadh and the one that escaped from all places to Tehran. They're like enemies. Well, the thing of it is, is that this is the first I've heard of it. What you're mentioning. You can look it up, but you have a hard time finding it. You can find it. It is. It's, it's not big news. Hmm. A Saudi, a high ranking Saudi, was arrested in Riyadh around the, returning there from Las Vegas, and another one fled to uh, Tehran. Mm. Of all places, because they're, they're such enemies, like I say, and not to be Alex Jones conspiracy stuff here, but there's something really <laughs> smelling funny there. I mean, he carried all this weapons and ammo up to that room, and nobody seemed to say anything. Mm. And with all that, well, he, whatever he, was going on on the top floor. Well, he, 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 he chose that room for a reason. I think he made a big fuss out of it, because he had been in that room before. Yeah. And, and then he what? Did he have some coupons? And he had something that would cause him to get a discount. And he wanted that room. So he he put a fuss up about that particular room. Well, there's suite. another conspiracy theory. We do know he tried to shoot at the fuel tanks at the airport nearby. <laughs> but just, just he didn't have the proper caliber to set that on fire. And thank God for that. And that may have been one of the things he wanted to do. Because he could have got that to explode somehow. It could have made right up. You know, I really believe that there was a whole lot more yeah, than what he wanted to do. There was a whole lot more than he wanted to do that he didn't that didn't get a chance to, you know, come to fruition, which was really a good thing. Yeah. And, uh, and even with this Saudi connection thing, it might be best if we don't know it because it's not necessarily a bad one. It, it could have been that Saudi took him down. Hmm. We really don't don't know if it's good or bad. <laughs> and with this new crown prince that they see is uh well after the, this killing of this, this journalist, 
Oh. He's not. He's not what they say he is. Hmm. They all call him a journalist because he did a couple of op-eds for the New York Times or something like this, Washington Post, mm -hmm. whichever one of those two it so, was. So that's an attack on our democracy, right? Yeah. Well, he was also a, a model of a brotherhood. Oh. So really. So we don't really know the story behind that. So what was his? I would say it's Saudi what business was his background. Have, Just. They're always weird over there in Saudi land. This, the new guy we got, they're letting women drive. He's starting to the secular Islam is a lot different than, than like uh, the stuff they have in Iran, which is almost secular. People don't know that, but they got the women over there. They, they stand up on top of these traffic control boxes and take their scarf off. They wait to be arrested, but they're not being arrested anymore. They had those kids. Next and, I don't know. They didn't get that far. <laughs> Uh, they did really crack down on the kids that did the uh, uh, happy video, you know, happy song. That, so they did one of them over there in Tehran. And of course, the authorities cracked down on that pretty hard. But that's not that's not hardcore. Like Tur well, Turkey's pretty much secular too. Uh, uh, Saudi is, is definitely a, a hardcore type. So any anything they can do. We don't know what kind of weirdo stuff. There's more going on between that, Las Vegas, our government, and theirs, and it's not necessarily bad. I'm not sure, sure it's good, but it's confusing. That has nothing to do with Auckland. So I, yeah. I got off on this little rant. But. Well, we're talking about <laughs> national things. Uh, you know, and we don't hear anything nation. more about that shooting there for some reason. And I know a lot of people are upset that we're there. That would like to know more. Well, we'd like to hear uh, uh, from them. Is I, it, has it been a year? <laughs> I just want to know about the shooting. Yeah. That's Florida? Yeah. 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 No, no, the guy the, 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 Las Vegas one. The, the one that I saw a picture of with, 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 a, with, a, with a vagina hat. <laughs> the guy had hat on? <laughs> The killer? Yeah. Okay, well, that's... Well, my thing is, is that I still believe that the girlfriend knew knew something, but then again, you know, he paid for her house and with her family, uh, but I'm like, how you going to be in that hat, same house with this man, and you can't figure out he got all this ammunition up in there? I mean, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Unless he's, he's scared of uh, I mean, about the Las Vegas guy. That's what I'm doing. They said he was, he was on a losing streak and it's germophobic. Uh, well, you think it's a cover-up story, don't oh, you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, Alex Jones is right on some things. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, it's really scary what he is. But. You know, because you, 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 you have these, you have these uh, people that were like the ballet park people downstairs in the driveway and some of the people who were in the driveway getting out of their cars. Saying that they heard shooting come from several different directions, mm. you know, and, and, and you know, and you and one person, yeah, and this I mean, simultaneously. Yes. Oh, okay. And if, I think they also found another window that was busted out. Two windows were broken out. Two windows were busted out. Mm. Um, separate sides of the. Well, we always wondered if they had an accomplice with him, but you know, but everybody, you know, thought it was just one him, but he couldn't do that all at one time. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, and, and things you'll never know, like who killed JFK? Uh, who killed JFK? Who killed JFK? <laughs> oh, we know who killed JFK. It was what's your face? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was that girl. <laughs> who shot JFK? 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 Uh, so it hasn't been a year. Debbie is shooting. They can't get a camera to show all that. Mm -hmm. We can't find out anything about the shooting. So on um, October the first was the uh, anniversary. So it was this month. Yeah. Well, we don't hear anything more about the Saudi stuff. The top floor and all that. Mm -hmm. He tried to look up the Saudi prince that was arrested when he got as soon as he got off the plane and 
Yeah. And that's the other thing was, how did he get all the quantities of the weapons and the ammunition into his room? Oh, the bell bonds went to bell bonds. The bell, the the bell, bell boys. The, the bell boys, they helped him. It was in suitcases. They helped him take some things up. In the suitcase. Well, yeah. I mean, he put it on those things and just pushed. 23 guns and thousands of rounds. But he didn't do it all in one day. Yeah. He'd done it, you know, mm -hmm. multiple days. I think somebody didn't say anything, and you can't tell me anybody. Some of those workers were not, uh, you know, that would have just raised some no, responsibility. No, no one saw anything. Yeah. That's they may have been paid to hush. Well, it's, it's just, uh, there's nothing in this thing. There's lots of stuff that we already know. Well, you were mm -hmm. looking to read Fudgy and the water thing. Because I could be Turn down could the bottom and build a, uh, to upgrade the, the plant or something. Well, the thing of it is, is that my thing is that I just got to the point I don't want to vote for no more bonds. Yeah, when, you know, when Ed came on, we talked about J and K. Those proposals, that was fine. I voted for those. But I'm telling you, this other stuff, reject, 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 against, well, against, my, against. Here's okay. my other question on that, too, is, you know, I'm working out with general public, and I'd like to, to uh, you don't have to put a microphone on me. I'm loud <laughs> enough here. <laughs> yeah, Jeez. I guess I can. I don't need them. Them. <laughs> I am what? Nothing. I always go whenever he says I'm correct. I'm like, I am what? Can you repeat that word? Anyways, uh, I'm talking to the general public. It's embarrassing. Yeah, you're right. Why what? Well, for those of you who don't know, this is Chris Ritter. And Chris she, is she is our. <laughs> she's our producer. I'm usually in the room. Today she's going to just come out and sit in the seat. So we really can't have the show, can't go on without her. So. We can't Let's tell her go. she can't come and come sit in this chair. So, yourself, you know, we really need her. We have, we have, we have a lot of fun. You know, it's, it's I, 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 to have I, people uh, to help us with the show. Well, well you know what? Tonight is, just, tonight is just family night. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Cole. Thank you, We appreciate you. This is you. my sister yeah. by another yes, mother. Right. 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 Um, what are you going to have on tonight? I'm at 6.30. My 6.30. In the small studio. Am I going to be on 6.30? Uh, no, no, no. Ten. 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 I'm on ten. Yeah, I'm ten. Yeah. Just stay on this channel all night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's He's I was correct so many times, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I got mine. I got mine. I, I, I went and voted yesterday. You know what I went to do? I went to go vote three times. The no, line no, was so long. Oh, did you vote three times? I know. No. I tried to vote. I tried to vote once. But I went three times to do that. And my third time, I was literally able to vote. It's just that many people there. It was so That's crowded. Really well, the first I day can't. I was on my lunch hour, so oh, I'm like, I can't even wait. You know, okay, you, know, you know, I've read, I've read that more conservatives are, are turned out than Democrats. Well, that's the, but the news doesn't say that. What's the they, they exit poll that. say? That's what you know. We want to. Uh, of course, they won't tell you that. Uh, they, they, they're, 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 they're supposed to uh, pump up the. Pump up the, the Democrats mm. and well, trust the, the, the trust the conservatives. That's, well, that's, they've been talking about how much, how much money the Dems have raised, which is a billion dollars. You and, know and, what? And I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought Republicans were supposed to be part of the rich. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so, tell you're looking that. at some poor folk down here. So here's the deal: money is good, but it Thank all you, money is good, you but what it's going to come down to is who's going to it comes down to the votes. And it'll be very uh, interesting. Well, what I was saying about the talking to the general it's public about people, and my mom, about I talk to them about voting and things like that. Steve Steve you know, we, well, that too, but <laughs> we can get it into, here, try this cookie. Oh, by the way, I, how do you feel about the bonds, you know? Oh, I'm going to vote no on all of them. I'm tired of my taxes going up, blah, 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 mm -hmm. blah, 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 and the money not getting spent. Mm -hmm. So if I've got like eight out of ten people in the store saying that they're not going to, Vote for the bond. How the hell do these things pass? There's eight more unwise ones that vote. They oh, just, are they manipulating the vote? So I don't think they're manipulating it. I, well, they manipulate. We they're manipulating they the people. The they're manipulating the people. I mean, when you back when well, we, all those commercials would come on, especially with that 600, uh, that other one that that was affecting Burnett Road and all that one. 
you know, you remember those commercials that was coming on and what they had something totally different on the commercial as to what that whole bond was mm -hmm. going to do. Mm -hmm. And then there's things hidden in those bonds. Oh, yes. Just like they are on bills on Capitol Hill. You know, what was it? That one bond, that, that one thing? Oh, Obamacare. Obamacare. <laughs> it had stuff in there about the Alaska pipeline. <laughs> Well, that's really not unusual. Stick to health care. I mean, so well, why do they call it a... Well, if you're going to make a bill that's like this deep on paperwork, why, well, are you gonna, why do you have to stick all this stuff in there? Well, so, 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 some, some, somebody famously said you would have to pass the bill in order to read it, to find out what's in it. <laughs> I don't even take half the people anywhere to read half the thing. They just hit that Two, button. 2,000 pages? Uh, and then uh, our guest was going to talk about some of the integrity of the ballot. Yeah. Now that's one. That's one thing uh, I, I, I want to make a mention of because it's a good one, and I think I saved it on my phone. So while well, you look for it, I'll mention that there seems like what is this with the absentee ballots? Mm. And why are they they're so eager to get so many absentee ballots out oh, there? Oh, and mm. then and the boot Adler and his soccer stadium problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, here it is. Advisory on voting on the heart machines. This is the Texas Attorney General. Uh, website. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a Ken Paxton website, and then make sure you read the small letters on those commercials with, about against Ken Paxton, because if you look on there, it says like 2015 is when all those charges came up, and he's not in jail, so exactly. he must have been acquitted. And you know what really bothered me when I saw the commercial? I said, you know what? That, they don't have nothing bad to say. That's so old. Now, and here's what this is the quote from the Attorney General's office regarding the the the. Eastlake machines. We have heard from a number of people voting on Hart Eastlake machines that when they voted straight ticket, it appeared to them that the machine had changed one or mm. more of their selections to a candidate from a different party. Mm. This can be caused by the voter taking keyboard actions before a page has fully appeared on the Eastlake, thereby deselecting the pre-filled selection of that, of that party's candidate. Specifically, the Heart Eastlake system uses a keyboard with an enter button and a selection wheel button. The enter button on the Heart Eastlake selects a voter's choice. The selection wheel on a Heart Eastlake allows the voter to move up or down the ballot. It is important when voting on a Heart Eastlake machine for the voter to use one button or the other and not both simultaneously. Mm. And hit for the voter and for the voter not to hit the enter button or use the selection wheel until a page is fully rendered. A voter, a voter should note the response to the voter's action on the keyboard prior to taking another keyboard action. It is also important for the voter to verify their selections are correct before casting their ballot. You're absolutely right. That was the point I wanted to make. Because before you cast that ballot, go down and make sure that your selection is sure. You no, know, that, but but me alert to this one was there were people that were voting straight Republican. Now I've never voted straight party ticket. I'll go down page by page. But uh, the thing where they're voting on the summary page where they voted for Ted Cruz mm -hmm. is blank. Mm -hmm. So yeah, as a reminder, voters should always carefully check their review screen before casting their ballots. If a voter has any problems, they should notify a poll worker immediately so the issues can be addressed and reported. Or hit that previous button. Yeah, and yes. go back. So, anyways, uh, there's more. There's more to the advisory. You could go to the Ken Paxton, uh, secretary. Uh, I mean, at, uh, uh, General? attorney general of Texas site. Mm -hmm. So that's not fake news. That actually comes from the the, the secretary of state. Oh, okay. Where's secretary she calling state? it? The a a AG, you had it right. I had it wrong. <laughs> what? This well, AG. You said well, AG, attorney, attorney general, general same thing. Secretary of state. No. I don't think well, so. oh, secretary of state is another man. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I would say everybody needs to put pressure on the Secretary of State because at one time there was a petition that was given to him about not certifying these machines until there was a paper printout. Mm -hmm. Now, I think there's, there's, some, there's some states that have required this. And basically, it's an East Lake machine that has a little thing snapped to the side of it that when you get ready like, to cast your ballot, <laughs> out comes a little paper with your thing. Now, that you can verify on there that that's your vote. And put it in the ballot box. We did creates, have those uh, in the past. Yeah, well, why can't we have those now? Because uh, it's computerized. Anything that's computerized can be hacked. Well, and, yeah, and they've updated everything, upgraded. Yeah, everything's everything. accessible. 
and you know, years ago, I was well, you, I was being well, a nitwit. Well, you, you, you know, Putin is inside every computer in America. <laughs> are they he's Putin, inside are every they, one of them. Are they Putin and Putin? He, he's inside. He's no. He's in, he's in there. So instead of intelligence, he's in there, it's Putin inside. The, yes, he's in there running things. That makes about sense. That makes good sense. <laughs> but you know, uh, I don't. I've never trusted these East Lake machines. And the day that they were voted in by the county commissioners, I had rallied the troops, and we were all going to go down yeah. there and and speak out against them. And it was an agenda item until and and until the time I went down there. I called the thing to see when, t what time they were going to be doing it. Oh, they'll be there about 2.30. It'll be heard about 2.30. Well, they never told me that they pulled it from the agenda and stuck it through consent that morning because they knew we were coming. Karen Sunliner, you know me. You saw me out there. I said, if I have my ID, I have my little code number, and I have my, my voter's registration, I want to see my ballot. Can I see my ballot? No. Due to the, private, the privacy of the ballot. <laughs> hey, how private? How private? You can't, you can't, you see, your, you can't okay, see your own ballot. Karen Sunlightner, here comes. Okay, I don't know if you'll be able to see it from here. That was favorite back in the day. <laughs> All these people would line up on it. You can see that kind of stuff. Mine used to be a lot more active yeah. when I was not around. You know, um, and, uh, not to change the subject, but I want to jump to How the subject. How do we act like that? She, she, you said something. You, may, it just, you just jarred my memory, though, about these 10 people that did receive the envelopes. Well, they didn't receive them, but they were addressed to them, you know, with these pipe bombs and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I, I have to think, in, what is it that those 10 people had in common? We know that they, sure. they've been raising their mouth lately. Yeah. And Cory Booker show, he's, he's really been raising his mouth. But When I mean, he's not in the bathroom, costing people. Oh. It's <laughs> <laughs> well, it is family night tonight. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I don't believe that addressing bombs to people was the right choice to make. It's what not the best the thing to do. But Besides being... Were they, were they all part of, like, like Biden, that was the vice president. Well, let's uh -huh. go back to your kids. Now, let's go back to the old cell phone, and we'll, I'll list them off your while, while you're talking. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. So, we had um, President Obama, uh, oh, Vice President Joe Biden. Oh, oh did uh, Nancy Pelosi get one? No, she missed, and she was one mailing them. <laughs> But she would take them out so she can run it. <laughs> Isn't she in line for the presidency? Or, well, no. Yes. Speaker of the House. Speaker of the House. But that's an ex-president. She wasn't the new president. I really of the think we should have an age limit on some of these things because... Well, you are saying he had, other, uh, he had a long list of people. So let's see who we got here. Some have talked about the term limits. Okay, here we go. sent the ones that were sent. Obama... Joe Biden, of course, Hillary. Oh, oh George too. Soros. You were on the well, list to get one. You probably sent him. <laughs> Tom Steyer, whoever that is. Yeah, that's the guy that runs all those commercials about him, Pete Trump. But he's mm. a clear and present danger. The former. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. It's apparently. Oh, this was the other newest one that came up. Can we say Stormy? Oh. Ooh. He was. Okay. The former stripper who was a was a Lexi criminal record was arrested in Florida on Friday. Blah blah blah. Anyways, he was tied into uh, a stripper. <laughs> Let me find but it why? here. Yes. But why? Don't tell me. Oh no no! I have to go back and find that one. Okay. <laughs> Say I can the stripper. Say I can the stripper. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me go back. Say here. the bomber guy. So he blew with a stripper or what? No 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 no. Say off. And the stripper. Keep talking while I find this. So. Never mind. What do you think they have in common? A whole lot. <laughs> business wise okay. or? Well, political wise. Yeah. They're all plainly liberals. From male dancer to bomber. Take what? a look at that guy. Yeah. This is the one that sent He it? toured the country with an all-male stripper troop. Okay. 
did and, him. Yeah, he was the, the, Jay the, Bomber, the, huh? Oh, wait, here's a picture of him. <laughs> I say check his voter registration. Oh, steroid cool. problem. Oh, he, oh, well, steroids. That's he a, had a steroid problem. He sure has. Yeah, Look, crazy. yeah. Suspected mild bomber was a stripper with a steroid problem. Now, this is coming from the New York Pub, so you know what Well, that could agitate you and activate you, that steroid. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you can't get off of that medication. Uh, <laughs> he was like 900 years old now, he said. I wouldn't hire a 50 or 60-year-old stripper. Apparently, he was trying to get back into it. Oh, here's well, pictures of him. Here you go. There, there you go. Really? Really. He looked more like a, a, a muscle weight, wrestler. Weight, yeah, a weightlifter or something. He looked like a wrestler. Which is... Boys like that now. Uh, Cory Booker uh, might like it like that. <laughs> no comment, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need nobody after us when we leave the show yeah. today. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on, baby. Let's be wrong with this guy. No, okay. Who's the supposed uh, bomber? The wannabe bomber? The wannabe bomber? Now, didn't I? Now, question. I got it. Uh, I heard that the bombs weren't workable. Were they or weren't they? Well, none of them blew up. No. <laughs> that what they're saying that they weren't. I don't think they had a detonator, but they had some nails and some other little stuff in it. I know well, nothing. I know nothing. Took it out and made it work somehow. None, I, of, I none know, of them went off. I don't know if he was trying to uh, prove a point. Was he trying to send a message to them? I mean, or even if it was him. Oh, Maxine right. Waters. Oh, well, we're not how do you know? That, how, how, how you know there's, there's some there's some liberal didn't send send no just for attention, just yeah. for diversion. Well, everything with the election coming up, you know that there, you know the Democrats right now, you know there's a, a lot of people scurrying from the Democrats for all their crazy crap that they've been pulling lately. And uh, who's to say? Who's to say? Oh, and speaking of that. Well, then you've got Kanye West with his new oh. campaign called Blexit. 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 Yeah, Blexit. I like it. <laughs> and make the t-shirt. <laughs> well, well, you know Al Sharpton got a little tea-tot tattered about that now. Yeah, he's pretty. Oh, oh yeah. And, and, and here's another one that's been kind of thing up in the news lately. I don't know if anybody got this gift. In their thing. Uh, it's got Maxine Waters is quoted as saying, create a crowd and you push back on them. Yep. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore anywhere. So that's, that's Maxine Waters. She said that. And they yep. did that to the Homeland Security woman. They done it to Sarah. The, 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 uh, okay. And here's Barack Hussein Obama saying, get in their faces. And then the other one says, we bring a gun. And then you got Hillary, you cannot be civil. Oh, well, that, that was that uh, was Eric. Uh, I, I see Eric. Hold, Eric, Eric we go Eric, low. I see how he got the one. He got a lot of people. Well, he, 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 and then you got Tim he, Kaine he, saying, he, fight he, the streets. Just understand, he might mean something else by going low. <laughs> <laughs> he from, Al uh, from Atlanta? Huh? And then you got yeah, this yeah, other. Yeah. Then you got this other lady from Missouri. She's a state chairman senator, Maria Chappelle Nadal. Oh, she. Oh, she said some stuff. I hope Trump is assassinated. I mm -hmm. won't apologize. I won't resign. And she said that mm -hmm. August 2017. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's so many bitter... Repu Look, I voted Republican to go for McCain, okay? I voted McCain. Why? Because <laughs> it, it was on the ballot, okay? I didn't go for I didn't go for Barack or whatever, okay? I never voted for Barack. But you didn't see me... Saying I'm gonna go out and get in your face and chase your well, ass out of a restaurant. Well, I dealt with it. I grew up. I put on my big girl panties and and uh, you got Jared Sunlighter's face. You know, I, I I went to work every day. I I, I did well, my job, and, and, and et cetera. I wasn't out there protesting like, oh, you know. Uh, it, 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 oh, favorite? my favorite, my favorite one recently now mm. is the lady at the Supreme Court building digging her nails into the crack of the door trying to get into the Supreme Court after Kavanaugh was, okay. You didn't see any people 
acting like that that I've seen. Now, sure, there were a few. There were some out there. I'm not denying that there were a bunch of uh, uh, some crazies out there that did stuff, but not on the not on the on the amount that I came across the thing. Well, I mean, it's okay if you want to, you know, do your spurs, your 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 speech if you want to do that, but don't bring harm to anybody. to anybody. I mean, that's when it gets wrong. You get physical. Well, and they've done that when President uh, Trump was well, like here, you won. got you got what's your face that lost your career with the bloody head. Madonna's sitting out there telling you know burn the White House down. <laughs> now if I would go out there, the okay, if I stood outside of the White House and said burn the White House down, well that's Obama a terroristic did, threat. What would happen to me? That's a terroristic threat. You would why, go to jail, baby. Why is there not a class action <laughs> suit for the terroristic threats? that have been made by some high up people in the Democrat party. I want to sue somebody. Well, the thing of it is, is that, <laughs> that they don't feel that that's a terroristic threat. But Why not? If, if, I said you on the low, if you're on the low total poll, then yeah, you all, you, you voiced your opinion like that? They then yes. Lawyers, so. oh, they are lawyers, I know. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know much law, from what I can see. <laughs> Need to. Here's a good one. Stop being Democratic or Republican. Be honest, have morals, show empathy, value, integrity. Be a good human. That's an interesting one. That is. You just pull all that, you just save all that stuff up. Oh, hell yeah. There's the dead dinosaur tapes for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what happened in court today with the man from the synagogue? Oh. He had his court date today. Okay, Robert, whatever his last okay, name Okay, synagogue shooter. Okay, let's mm -hmm. look that one up. So we want to see what happened to him. They, you know, they are talking about the death penalty, and so that would be warranted. It, that's appropriate. You know, I can't understand some of these things. Okay, as you spent all this money, he's guilty. Find okay, this right is city. this is another New York Times article. Uh -oh. uh, Pittsburgh shooting suspect appears in court. Prosecutors vow to pursue death penalty. Death by what? Lethal injection? And a hate-filled attack. Okay, hold on. I don't know what Pittsburgh does. I'm not sure. He came and he appeared in court in a wheelchair, handcuffed, and wearing a blue sweatshirt and gray sweatpants. Big deal. Are we going on the fashion police? He wore what? <laughs> a blue sweatshirt and a gray, sw and gray sweatpants. It's so his police. attorney didn't bring him a suit? Of course not. Well, typically they do. Should have probably well, given him an orange. Oh, it's they like should, should have put him in a jumpsuit. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah. orange or black and white jumpsuit. Mm -hmm. Okay, included the, the charges include uh, obstructing the free exercise of religious beliefs, a hate crime, which can carry the death penalty, which is, and they're going to tend to have state charges. Yes, uh, two public defenders. And and declined to have the judge read the full criminal complaint and the penalty should he be found guilty. Held without bail. Next hearing is next Thursday. So he waited reading the complaint. He don't want to hear what he done. <laughs> well, you know the, the you know, uh, we know the charge, and you don't want to hear the charges, but he know what's been the charges that's been. Okay, he says. Ended with the gunman being uh, identified by authorities, blah, 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 surrendered to the office while wounded and crawling on his knees. He wanted all Jews to die, and he told a SWAT officer then, the authorities said, because Jews are committing genocide against his people. So what did he take his Where, is, where is the picture? Is this the picture of the guy? Him. That's him. It looks Robert, cool, whatever his Robert name Robert Bowers? Yeah. Genocide against his people. Which people? I don't where I don't see Jewish people going out and causing problems. No. You know, just because they don't believe in Jesus doesn't mean that they don't believe in God. They believe in the God of Abraham, like just like we do. You know, God of Abraham's the God of Abraham, but he just did they just don't believe that they, and so what? They have their culture is be successful. You know, if mm -hmm. if, if, if it's our cultures to be successful and carry on the family business and do all that. Can you have the same benefits as they do? That's a legacy they got to do. You know. Uh, well, and the, but God blesses them because they bless. You know, they, they are a blessing. Uh, they know yeah. how to they be a blessing. Jesus. Well, I understand what you're saying. But yeah, but uh, they still believe in the God of. A, a they God. believe Jesus was a, a prophet. A prophet. You know, but at some point in time, I do believe they'll believe. 
Yeah. You know how the, at the end of the tunnel, you know, the Christians, they mm -hmm. see the white light? Jews, they see the blue light. You know that? <laughs> that, that? That's a little thing that, you know, they go, through, uh, they go through the same tunnel, but... Is this but, a Kmart joke or no, what? No, no, it, it's the true. It, they see, they're, they're, their light at the end of the tunnel is blue, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, Where did you think this up at? I learned it in Florida when I was growing up in Florida. Because in Florida, in Florida, we took school field trips to the Catholic cathedrals. We went to the uh, 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 synagogues, and we saw where the Torah is kept and all that. You know, because we learned about everybody's religion. We went to a Greek Orthodox uh, place, uh, and we learned that, you know, there's different religions <laughs> and all that. Didn't I tell you? Uh-huh. Didn't I tell you? Laura. All right, I'm going to have to take my seat you. now. So Laura. you're going to get rid of the crazy woman. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to do this one-on-one -on -one ourselves. Oh, I, I know. Yeah. You're ready for it. Well, we could have a lot of fun. Well, there's a lot of current events. There's so much to talk about. Come on in here. I'll tell you, we just need to get some in. I'm going to get Laura in here, and, and we'll just have a heyday. Yes. Have a girl show and mm -hmm. I did touch on the attorney, uh, the attorney general's uh, uh, statement about the East Lakes and how they're messing up on the votes. It's really interesting. Why don't you go sit in the little room? Why? I'm not going to question. I'll make it too. But I did touch on that, and I read part of his statement that he made out. And what else did we talk about the East Lakes? Oh, about well, putting the I'll paper ballot on. Real quick, you got here you go. Well, no, well I want to tell our audience that our guest is here. And well, we used to start at 6 o'clock, and I can understand why, but you were early. I thought you meant for pizza. I'm like, I can't make it for pizza. But Laura, you're going to have to come in. But Laura's here, everyone. Dr. Laura's with us. Hi, everybody. Great to be back on the trailer. My friends and colleagues here. Thank you, thank you. Can we vote this time and count on our vote being counted? Well, that's a good question. Well, 14 minutes Tell us you know, I think it's interesting that you've got so many people sending out notices about the um, the voting machine. You've got the Attorney General, you've got the Secretary of State, you've got Ted Cruz, you've got you've even got Beto coming out. You know, it's <laughs> happening. On, I mean, I don't know how what they're gonna do. I'm just glad I'm not running in this election. Mm. I'm just glad I'm not. I don't know what they're gonna do. It's a really big mess. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad Travis County has decided to go to a paper backup ballot. Thank and God. And that's going to be in place in 2019. And then you're not going to have the problem of being able, you know, a machine changing your vote. Mm. And you can actually verify it. You can actually verify it. You can verify it. And then actually what's interesting about Travis County's new system is that you're going to have a, a serial number at, this, at the bottom of your ballot. And what you can do is record that serial number... So that if there's a recount, you can go back and make sure your number was how you voted. And that's the vote that, that gets counted. Good. There you go. That I call that the holy grail of election integrity. So because the numbering, the numbered paper ballot, you know, you're still gonna we know there's paper fraud, right? I mean, mm -hmm. we know that paper ballot paper fraud, fraud you know you know that can happen. Paper ballot fraud can happen. But if you've got a numbered paper ballot that you verify and when there's a recount for a candidate and your ballot is number 452, and it looks like you voted for Hillary. You know that ain't right, right? Which would never happen. Which would never happen. So you know someone's going to jail if your ballot shows Hillary, right? Yep. Because you verified it. So something's up. So there you go. I think the, the numbered paper ballot backup is just the holy grail, and it doesn't solve everything. It still it holds candidates accountable to do a recount if you think, you won, and you didn't. The numbers didn't. You know, you think you won the vote, but you didn't win the count. Mm. Okay, you got to You got a responsibility to do a recount and I, go to your voters. I can only hope they get you off the hook for. I can only hope they get you off the hook for attorney's fees. Well, <laughs> my case is still pending in the Supreme oh, yeah, Court. Yeah, your case. We're not going to have time for that. Yeah, it's still pending, and uh, we we look forward to prevailing in that case. Mm. They're going to, you know, we feel confident they're going to remove all those. Crazy sanctions and, and truth and justice is going to prevail. We believe that. Come on, totally believe it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I mean, all, those, all, all, all those Laura go home and quit bothering us orders. <laughs> yeah. well, that's, the, that's what they are. <laughs> that's what they are. I'm, I'm, I'm the bother queen. 
I'm going to say right here. <laughs> election integrity in the state. I'm not going to move. We're, we're doing the right thing. And I tell you what, I want to encourage other candidates to step up. When you know that you won your election and the count just didn't show it, mm -hmm. we have to stand up as, as, as candidates because we have volunteers, we have donors, we have people who voted for us that we owe it to them. Yes. To go to the nth degree to determine the true yes. results. Uh, yes. Right, my dear? Yes. You got it. I don't know what we had you um, coming again. I don't know. I don't know what I sent you. I don't know what I sent you back. I sent you an email probably the other night or something. Like that. But every time I run across voter integrity <laughs> stories, I send them to you. Thank you, I, and I appreciate them. A lot of times people send me stuff and I just hadn't seen it. So thank you, you know, for doing that. that stuff. <laughs> I read everything people send me. I, it goes in my head and I file it. I, well, I, cool. I keep track of all of what goes on around the state and other places too. Mm -hmm. Well, in 2019, we're going to see a different type of ballot. That's exactly it. That's the paper and ballot with the numbers that you're going to verify. Well, that too, but some other things came into play that's going to be effective in 2019 that, uh, Governor Abbott set in place regarding, uh, that he signed, regarding um, uh, uh, about the straight party tickets, you know, yeah, everybody's going to be gonna straight be, party and, yeah, we won't be straight party. <laughs> so that's new that's going to come. That's new. So yeah. that means that we certainly will have to review that ballot over and over because there's not no more straight party tickets. That's right. You're going to have to read it. You're going to have to read the ballot. Yeah. Oh, Imagine that. Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh my God. We are Americans. Well, you know that. I, 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 I thought that. Uh, I remember. I remember. I remember, I remember, I remember when I was in Los Angeles talking about when we had the, the literacy requirement is supposed to have been discriminatory. <laughs> and now they're going back to having to read the ballot. We got to read the ballot. We have to read the ballot. Personal responsibility is what it's called. Mm -hmm. You get the government that you know you allow. A novel idea. I know. Yeah. Well, after that, what kind of hanky papers are going to have to watch out for? Well, I just got a text from one of my election integrity committee members, Sharon Edwards, who's a precinct chair. Uh, you know, I'm a, we're all most of us in here are precinct chairs, Republican Party, Travis County. So one of the my uh, uh, precinct chair friends, Sharon Edwards, said that she was at Randall's on 183, and they were not allowing the voters to take in the flyers. That, our electioneers were handing out, and they challenged it. They called, I think, the Secretary of State's office, and they said, no, you had to let them in. So, you know, all kinds of yeah. stuff's going on. Just, you got to hold, hold your ground, do the right thing, follow the law. They, they, were not they didn't want them to take the voter guide in there? That's right. Uh, they, no, they wouldn't, they, 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 they wouldn't let them take voter guides, push cards. Yeah, they totally. They told me, and then she she held a, she held them accountable. She called, I think, Travis County's office or either Secretary of State, and they said, nope, they can have them in. And so now they're letting them. So I tell you, even when you're electioneering, you're gonna ha you have to know the law. Mm -hmm. You have to be armed with the truth yes. and know what to do and how to escalate it to yes. the next level. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, you know, we've got an issue here in Travis County in the elections department. They will not give our poll watchers the audit logs that are guaranteed under the uh, Texas Administrative Code. And we've had Matt, um, our party chair, you know, try to get Travis County to do what they're supposed to do. We just still haven't gotten even a response out of that. <laughs> and we're going to be up there again. We're going to be holding them accountable. And, you know, you can't, you can't let this stuff go. You can't let it go. We have to volunteer to the party. I know it's always hard to get, like, elected clerks and judges. Yeah, it is. And he's poll watcher. Do we have enough of them? We don't. Of not. We don't. And if you want to volunteer as a watcher or electioneer, just call the Travis County Republican Party office, and we'll sign you up. <laughs> yeah, and if y'all want to email me, my email is laurapresley at startmail.com, and we can get you hooked up with some kind of watching or electioneering. I'm happy to help with that. Thank you. Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, absolutely. I used Absolutely. to work for the uh, substation. Do they even have substations anymore? We don't have substations anymore. They, they take those memory cards of the voting machines down to their main office. And that's where our watchers are. Central County. Are. Central County. And that's oh, where our watchers are. It's an exciting place down there. It's, it's a fun the place. This used to be going to be called Friday. The press is all up there in their little place. Yeah. I guess it's still an yeah. exciting place. So, Laura, so, how, so, so far uh, with early voting, how's, it, how's early voting going? 
Well, I think they've seen record numbers. They really I saw have. some. I, I, I saw some. I saw some the other day. It said in um, uh, was it fifteen or something like that? They had forty-six thousand well, early see. voters. Mm-hmm. And now, and this year, right. this year is like 146,000. It's like almost triple the It's triple. huge. I, it's you know, I think, you know, the red wave is here. The red wave is here. That's Even in time. Austin. Guys, I'm mm-hmm. going to tell you right now. Mm. The economy. I said that last you year. Know, we are, we are, yeah. it's a red wave in Austin, Texas. I'm going to tell really? you. I believe yeah. it. That I is believe so. It. I believe, I believe what President Trump has done is Fabulous! I'm such a big fan of his, mm-hmm. and we are so. I'm so grateful for him. A lot of you us know, are. Uh, uh, go ahead. Well, this is our first show after the election. If you, we start it with you here, maybe I get on your calendar again. I would love it. Yes, and <laughs> five that. o'clock. And five yeah. o'clock is not pizza. No, five o'clock is show. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'll put you on. Sling some chairs. Gosh, I'll talk to He gets a bad rap, doesn't he? He's getting a bad rap. He he does. So did Jesus. But yeah, sure Truth tellers always do. Oh, man. You know, so I I was saying to the guys earlier, I said, you know what, every this whole thing with, with these bombs that went on, everybody's uh, blaming Trump. And I'm like, that's not even his MO. Honey. It's not. <laughs> he, he, he's on he's on Twitter. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was the Michael Berry. Michael Berry. <laughs> on 1370. I love 1370 AM. It's conservative radio. I love 1370 AM. And Michael Berry goes, Yeah, watch me, I'm on Twitter. <laughs> I love Michael Berry. So no, Trump didn't want that kind of attention. He knows how to get his own attention. All he has to do is tweet. Yeah. So yeah, it I'm makes you sure. wonder this violence model yeah. is not the Republican model. No, no it's not. It, it looks it's to the Democratic me more, model. It's the Democratic it's the, model it's because the they've been Ku Klux Klan, the, Antifa, they all they in the same. They all the same. It's all the same. It's all the same. It's all the same game. It's not good. Violence. I mean, it's not good. It, and then, and these are public officials. These are people that have held office in the past. This is a. Past president of the United States. And in fact, we didn't hear from President Bush, GW, for years after he no longer. How did? How is it that President Obama is sometimes up in the mix and we be hearing him? I'm like, wait a minute, dude. He's, he's in B-mode. He's in B-mode. Yeah. yeah. You know what? It's, it's amazing. We've, Uh-oh, 40 seconds. We have to take the high road and, and be the... Be, be, civil, be the week, civil folks. ones, yes, civil, rational, it's, truthful ones. It's not yet to be yeah. Jerry Springer's show, but uh, we are going to discuss <laughs> it some. Some of the discourse in politics. I do got some friends that you know that are Democrats. And I have good friends politics. that are Democrats too, Pokey. Okay, well, anyway, bye-bye, folks. Bye-bye.